Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play, Resident Evil 4. RE4 was recently released again for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One as a ultimate remaster bab dab do and I love Resident Evil 4 and I realized I never did a playthrough of this on stream or on a video uh, whether that was this channel or the last channel so I thought that now would be the best time ever to do it because it's been re-released so why not um, to my understanding this is the PC version of the game so this is basically the best version of the game being ported over to PS4 and Xbox One so that's cool um, before we get started I want to thank the patrons over on Patreon their names should be scrolling up if I remember to put them in the video uh, thank you guys so much for supporting me uh, and making making it possible for me to be able to do this and continue to do this and continue to put out uh, more quality videos uh, instead of being stuck on my HD PVR still. Uh, so thank you guys so much for, for assisting and helping and I love you. Mwah. And let's get started. Uh, we're going to be doing a new game. I did mess with the settings beforehand, so... Resident Evil 4! Nineteen ninety-eight. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornia, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? It's 
freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. And we're in the game. Finally. So, you might notice that uh, there are no subtitles on the cutscenes. Um, that is a glitch, kind of? It's a... Uh, they, for some reason, just don't have the cutscenes enabled for the PC version of the game, and because this is a port of the PC version, well, they're not in this game either, and it's only for the North American release. Uh, North American and, I think, any English release, so parts of the European release as well. So, unfortunately, there will, no be, there will not be any subtitles, so I will not be talking over the cutscenes, or any voiced dialogue so that you guys can hear it. Um, I'm just gonna talk to this guy. Huh. Forget your makeup or something? Oh. oh okay. Okay. Alright. I need to relearn how to play this game a little bit. Um, we can aim with L2. Can kind of move around with the left stick. I changed it to the left stick instead of the right stick because that is what I'm used to from the GameCube version. We can pull the trigger with R2. Test out my ability to shoot. Going to shoot the birds. Shoot the burbs. I don't see any more burbs. So, usually I want to shoot the uh, the crows because they do give some pretty decent money. Some other, Sometimes they'll give treasure like that. And sometimes they'll give uh, uh, ammo and stuff. I don't know why a bird is carrying an ammo, but uh, an ammo. A single piece of ammo. But sometimes they do carry ammo. Um, you can run by holding forward I'm pressing the X button. Um, this is tank controls. So you turn by going left and right. You can move forward, going forward, backing up. Um, the only difference is that with tanks, I don't think you can normally turn and move forward at the same time. I'm not sure. but uh, Well, I'm sure real tanks can. But um, I don't remember if Resident Evil 2 did that or not. Resident Evil 2 being like the only other Resident Evil game that I've played. Um, the other big thing about this is that this is in glorious 60 frames per second. Oh. I've actually never gotten that. I, I can't believe that's... I've played this... I've played through this game at least two dozen times. Maybe not two dozen, but a lot of times. Probably a dozen. I've never gone, decided to go back there. That's, that is great. Finding out new things with this Let's Play. It'll be great. There are very small items on the shelf. 
Nothing particularly unusual here. Luckily, there's still subtitles for that sort of stuff. I imagine that's not usually in the same code as subtitling. So here we go. So uh, let me just let me just reload with R L2 plus X. Reload. Uh, excuse me, sir. Why do you turn around like that? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze! It's in freeze! So this guy is just manic, I guess. He's just gonna. Oh, whoop, whoop! Don't, don't fire! Stop it! There we go. I don't want to be too crazy with ammo. Oh man, he said a bad word. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. And he dropped some money. We can check the body of this guy. He's not a zombie. So they're gonna try and break open that door. And uh let me check over here. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Uh but yeah, they're not zombies this time. They're just crazy villagers. And ready? Action shot! Yeah! I'm gonna back up a little bit. Oh, okay, I was trying to kick. There we go. I didn't kill all of them. There we go. That's what I want to do. Save some ammo. Kill him with a knife. Let's, let's just boop it up. All right, sweet, good, good start, good start, good. I've been here for less than five minutes, and I've already killed four villagers. After I broke into one of their homes, mind you. You know that's that's not. You know that's not that's not. Re I feel like it's probably reasonable that the. It's like, Leon, you broke into this guy's home carrying a loaded firearm. And he, he, he was like, oh, well, I had to neutralize him because he swung his axe at me. I was like, you, you, you broke into his house. We're going to save here. With the typewriter, of course. We're on normal mode because this is a new game. I would have played on a harder difficulty because I've played through this game so many times, but I believe you have to beat the game once to be able to unlock new difficulty modes. Now let's get these. There we go. There's some money. And a hand grenade. Oh no, it's Wolf. We're gonna help him out. You're free, pooch. Go warn Mononoke of the coming danger. Alright, so... We got some really uh, unsettling scenery here. Even worse, down here, we got some bombs. So you notice that these tripwires here 
There's trip wires here, and there's bombs placed on them, so you have to find your way around. You can pretty much avoid this pretty easily, but you could just shoot them if you wanted. I probably won't. I won't shoot them. There's also a dog trap here. Can I? Can I just do that? There we go. And there's gonna be a dude coming at us. Got him in the head once, and no. Come on, get good. I'm talking, talking to myself. Not the, not the villager that I just murdered. What am I looking at? Are you looking at the bombs, probably. But uh, I do want to talk about my history with this game a little bit. What I, what I um. how I interacted with this game growing up and I had a I had a GameCube and we ended up getting this game after I experienced it at a friend's house I believe and this was actually right here the scene that convinced me to get the game not not this these guys are gonna probably ambush me and try to try to fight me where are they at Oh, come on! Oh god, I'm gonna die. Okay, can I just... No, not that! No, not that! It's this! It's the center button! Oh, I hate that. <laughs> uh, I don't want to use... I don't... I, 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 you know what, I'll use it. Fine. And then, can I combine... No, that doesn't work the same way. What? 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 Okay. What are you what are you doing? Hey buddy, listen. There you go. There you go. Alright, that was weird. That was that was scary and also like weird. I guess they're they're this that's their boundary line right there. Anyway, what I was trying to say, which is this. This is the scene that convinced me to get the game. You walk in here, it's like, oh, this is nice, oh, this is nice. You know, this is pretty lovely. Oh. Oh. Alright. And after that, I was like, yeah, I'll get this game. Is is creepy. It's is scary. Now bear in mind, I was a young bab of fourteen, I believe, when this when I got the game. I think I was fourteen. I don't remember exactly how long ago that is. I think that's nine years ago. Did this game come out nine years ago? I don't remember. I'll remember after commentary when I do the description. What are these guys? These guys. Yeah, you better run. Alright, let's see if I can do this. I don't remember, I don't think it's here, but later. Hey, buddy. I know you're in there. Hey, guy. Ugh! There you go, it's okay, you see? Uncle Leon's here to take care of you. Alright. But that's... That's a good, that was a good start. We... Oh man, I, I invaded... Invaded the, the, the outskirts of this village. Look at this creepy ass door. Look at this door. Let's get inside this door. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. I'm sending you this thing that should only be... in the context of the game. But I'm telling to you, to you in a cutscene and voice dialogue, so it's kind of weird. Alright, um, damn, I have 10,400 pesetas. Pesos? 
I don't remember. I don't know what. I it's very obvious that this is like Spain or Portugal, but it, it's probably it's Spain. Um, so I don't remember what the. I'm pretty sure they use. I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not going to be dumb and you know incorrectly guess which which currency Spain uses when my only real knowledge is with Mexico. Anyway, we're at the village. Oh no. Luigi, no! Oh no. You were brave. I'll never forget you. 